Hey guys, this is part two of my uh, Scorpion Pixel Art tutorial. So we're going to start this off by switching to the birch planks. And with the birch planks, we're going to move all the way over here to the left, going back to where we had these ten black wools going across, and we also had these four black wools that went underneath it. So going back to these four black wools here, starting from the bottom block of the four, so starting from there, we're going to count one block going up. So we're going to move one block up to that black wool, and on the left side of it is where we're going to be placing that birch plank. So place one birch plank there. And now place one block going down to the left. So that's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the sand block. And we're going to move to this birch plank. And on top of it with the sand, we're just going to be placing sands going up. Until it makes contact with that black wall. So place that. So it looks like this, just a line going up. And then fill in this empty space here with the sand. Just fill this up. And it should look like that. Let's put away the sand block. And let's put away the birch plank. And let's switch over to the oak plank. And we're going to move back over here to the four black walls. Starting underneath it, place one oak plank. So place one there. And then place another block going down to the left. So that's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. And by the way, I said left for this one. It should have been right. That one block there. Okay, so. So that's one, two, three, thir two. Oh my god, I'm a mess. I haven't done anything for like a day and I'm just already messing up. Okay, so it should look like that. After the four blocks, we had one going down to the right, not the left. And then two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So it should look like that. Okay, messing up aside, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place another block going up to the right. So that's one. And now from that block there, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Now we're going to be placing five sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. Next, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place seven blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. And now place two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So that's two sets of threes. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And I place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. And I place two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. 
Now with the oak wood plank starting underneath these two planks here, so starting from there underneath it, you're just going to add two more blocks going down. So that's one and two. Now we're going to switch over to the jungle planks. With the jungle plank starting underneath these blocks here, you're going to be placing one jungle plank, so that's one. And then two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And I place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And I place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce planks. Switching over to the spruce planks, let's start from uh, the left side of these two jungle planks, and we're going to skip a block space and move over to the left. So we're going to start right there. We're going to be placing one spruce plank, so that's one. And then one block going up to the left. That's one. Now two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to fill in this empty space here with the spruce plank. Now I understand that there's nothing here outlining it, but this here, this is going to be like the outline. So over here is, it gets, it's like nothing. Consider this the invisible outline here. So just fill this area in so it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the jungle planks, and we're going to fill in these small spaces here in between the spruce planks and the jungle planks. Just fill it in with the jungle planks. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch back over, let's see, to the jungle planks. And to make this a little easier on ourselves, let's fly all the way back up here to where we had that one oak plank underneath the four black wolves. Starting with the jungle plank, we're going to be placing one jungle plank underneath the one oak wood plank, so place one block there. And now two blocks going down on the left, so that's one, two. And now two blocks going, or not two, now four blocks going down on the left. It's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now place one jungle plank underneath this block here. So place one block there. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place one block on top of the right block of these three. So place one block there. So everything should look exactly like this so far. Now what we're going to be doing next is hugging the outline. I don't believe that's a term that I used yet in the Scorpion tutorial, but all it is is just... Placing the same amount of blocks that we currently have right now, and placing pretty much the same amount of blocks of the outline that's already placed. So, and we're going to stop underneath this black wool here. For those of you who already know what hugging the outline is, go ahead and do that. Just hug the black wool outline and stop right there. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, all it is is just tracing the outline. So, this is what we're going to do with the jungle wood planks. You can see that these are two black wolves, these are two black wolves, so that we can place two jungle planks, two black wolves, two jungle planks, two jungle planks, two jungle planks, two jungle planks, and we stop there. So, it should look like this. Now, for future reference, when I do say hugging the outline, I'm not going to keep explaining it like this. I'm just going to assume you already know what that means, because I'll give you a starting point and an end point. The end point was underneath these two black wolves there, so instead, uh, I won't have to say something like, all right, three blocks across, now two blocks diagonal, two blocks across, and stuff like that. I'll abbreviate it with hugging the outline, so this is what it should look like. Next, we're going to be switching over to the spruce planks. On the right side of this uh, jungle plank, place one spruce plank. Let's place one block there. And then place another block going up to the right. So that's one. Now we're going to switch back over to the jungle planks. 
starting underneath this first spruce wood plank that we placed. So starting from there, underneath it, you're going to be placing 10 jungle planks going down. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going down on the right. So that's a linked two. So that's one and a two. Now again, this is what a linked uh, set of blocks looks like. It's just connected to the last block that we placed. So it should look like this. This is a linked two. Now we're going to be placing a linked four blocks going down on the left. A linked four. So that's one, two, three, four. And now starting on the right, oh, not the right, starting on the left side of the bottom block of these linked four, so starting from there, you're going to add two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. And now you're going to be placing a linked four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So a linked four to the, uh, three, not four. Ah, you're going to be placing a linked three. I think I said three. So a linked three going across lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. It should look like that. I'm a little rusty when it comes to instructing. I haven't done anything for like a day and a half. That's not true. I've been working on other things, but I haven't been doing this. Okay. So now we're going to be placing a linked four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. So it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the oak plank, and with the oak plank, we're going to be filling in all of these empty spaces here that go all the way up here, not including this large area that stays empty, but just these single empty spaces that are in between the jungle planks and the oak planks, we're going to be filling them in with the oak planks now. So let's do that. Let's fill it in. And like I mentioned in part one, I do realize that you can't see the entire pixel art at the beginning or you won't be able to see the sides, not just the beginning, you won't be able to see the sides of the pixel art, just because this is a very large pixel art. I don't, I don't believe it's the largest, but when it comes to width, I think it might be. I think I might have something else that's much larger uh, when it comes to the width of sides. I know this isn't the tallest pixel art. I think Ultron might be the tallest pixel art. All right, but when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and switch over to the birch planks. So switching over to the birch planks, let's fly all the way back up here to where we started. We're going to be filling in these two empty spaces. Well, it doesn't really look like an empty space, but fill in this empty space first. Just fill in this. And this is going to get filled in along with this. All right, so let's move over here to this birch plank. Starting underneath it, all we're going to be doing is just... Placing a line, just a column of birch planks going all the way down until we make contact with that oak plank down there. So let's just place all of these birch planks going straight down, connecting it to these oak planks down here. Now let's fly all the way back up and fill in this single space that we left behind with the birch plank. Let's fill that in. Keeping in mind, we're not going to fill in this area here. This gets filled in with something else. But let's go back down here. Now this single large empty space that we just created, we're going to be filling this in with the birch plank. Since I don't feel like editing a time lapse, I'm just going to go ahead and take the potion of swiftness. Now I also do recommend you guys carrying the potion of swiftness in your inventory just to make this go a lot faster. In fact, you should do that anytime I time lapse a video because it's going to be a long one. And since I don't really feel like time lapsing this part, potion of swiftness to the rescue. I think I'm not even done halfway with the filling in the part. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a peek. Nope, I'm not. Dang it. Alright. I know going up and down with the placing of the blocks goes faster, but I'm not sure how fast. I feel like it's almost as fast as the potion of swiftness. Regardless, we're gonna finish this pixel art in part. I don't know, it's not gonna be a lot. It's not gonna take a lot of parts. If you saw what I knew, wait, that didn't make any sense. If you, well, it kind of did. If you saw what was going on in my brain, you probably think that it'd take forever to make this pixel art. But the way I'm going to be releasing this is probably going to be over an hour long. Over at least an hour and a half at minimum when it comes to these tutorial parts. It's just that the left side of Scorpion's pixel art side, it has the most detail. 
when it comes compared to the right. The right has almost no detail in it. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't have this many blocks just because it's the shadow side. It's the dark side. Join the dark side. Okay. There you go. It's a look like that. And now, since the squigglies annoy me, I'm gonna. Nope, not drink any more potion. We're gonna drink the milk to make it go away. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. And for those of you that are saying, Felix, you should have just time lapsed it. We saved a bunch of time on the video. I'm, this video is going to be as long as it needs to be, regardless if I time lapsed it or not. So if I need to make it two hours, it's going to be two hours. All right, so let's switch over to the spruce plank. And let's go all the way back up here to this empty space now. Starting on the right side of this one jungle plank that we placed, you're going to be placing one spruce plank. Let's place one there. And now two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. Now place four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place one plank on top of this jungle. So place one block there. And now one block going up to the right. So that's one. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now three blocks going down to the right. So that's one. Or two, not three. That's one, two. <laughs> two blocks going down to the right. So it should look like that. And now place one block on top of this block here. Let's place one block there. Now we're going to be switching over to the brown clay. So switch to the brown clay. In other words, brown stain clay. I'm not going to say stain. Don't don't get used to me saying stain clay. I'm just going to abbreviate it by saying brown clay. So with the brown clay, we're going to be filling this in with the brown clay. Let's fill this in. So it looks like that. All right. So now we're going to put away some stuff. I'm not sure which blocks we're going to be putting away, so I just might as well keep them out. Actually, no, I'll put them away. Organizing it. I'm all about it. So I'm just gonna just give me a second. So I'm I don't get confused. Look how many blocks there are in this pixel art. I should not be confused. I should be the last person to be confused, especially when it comes to instructing you. Because then if the instructor is confused, then he's obviously gonna instruct you on something incorrectly. Alright, so we're gonna switch over to the gray wall now. Let's fly it down here and we're gonna be filling this empty space here with the gray. Just fill the single empty space with gray wool. So it looks like that. Next, we're going to be flying all the way back up here. Next to the area that we filled it in with the brown clay. And for this next part, we're actually going to be needing the jungle planks quickly. So quickly switch over to the jungle planks. Moving over here to this one black wall. On the right side of it, you're going to be placing one jungle plank. So that's one. And I'll place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one. And one, two, two. So it should look like that. Now we're going to be switching over to the bedrock. And with the bedrock, we're going to start next to this uh, jungle plank that we placed. So starting from there, what we're going to be doing is just hugging the outline of the black wool with the uh, bedrock. And we're going to stop on top of these two black wool. So we're going to stop there. So let's go back up and let's hug the outline with the bedrock. Da -da. And when you're done, it should look like this. Making sure you stop on top of these two black wheels. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to be filling in this single empty space here that has the bedrock in it. We're going to be filling it in with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray. And this is part of Scorpion's... I, I'm not sure what this is exactly, but I know it's part of Scorpion's shoulder padding or something along those lines. Alright, now we're going to be switching over to the orange clay. So switching to the orange clay now, we're going to move to this next empty space here. And starting on the right side of this black wool that's up here, so starting from there, place two blocks going down, so that's one, two. And now two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. 
And now place three blocks going down on the right. That's right, one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching back over to the brown clay. And let's fill in these three empty spaces here with the brown clay. Let's do that now. And it should look like that. Now we're gonna, let's see, we might as well uh, finish some of this stuff that's up here. Alright, let's go back up here, and we're gonna switch over to, let me just figure some stuff out while I organize myself. There we go. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna be needing uh, the, da, 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 the gray wall. And yes, believe me, I do have to keep putting these blocks away just so I can be organized and won't get confused. Because if you haven't noticed, I have all of these blocks kind of color-coordinated. See, from darkest going to lightest and whatnot, it's important for me so I don't get confused. Alright, so going back over here to this empty space, starting on top of this black wall down here to the left, place one gray wall. So that's one. Switch over to the bedrock, place one bedrock on top of the gray. Switch back over to the gray wall, place two blocks going up on top of it. So that's one, two. Now, on the right side of this gray wool here, you're going to add six blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the bedrock, and with the bedrock, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the bedrock. So let's fill this in with the bedrock. So it should look like this. Now we're going to move up here to this next area. And for this next area, we're going to be needing the spruce wood. Getting this all mixed up. Okay. We're going to be needing the spruce wood. We're going to need the spruce planks and the brown wool. So, switch to those blocks now, the spruce wood, the spruce planks, and the brown wool. Starting off with the spruce blank, or no, the spruce wood, down here at the bottom left corner of this area. So from there, on top of this black wall, place 10 blocks going across to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now 2 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's 1, 2. Now let's move back all the way over here to the left, and on top of this black wool, you're going to be placing one spruce wood, so that's one. Now switch back over to the spruce planks, starting on the right side of these two black wools here. So from there, place three spruce planks going across to the right, so that's one, two, three. And now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the brown wall and fill in this empty space here with the brown wall. So let's fill this in. And it should look like this. So now we're going to be putting aside these blocks here. I'm just going to move these over here because I know we're going to be needing them in a few minutes but let's switch back over to the gray wool and let's move up here to this next area all the way at the bottom left corner starting on top of that black wool place two gray wools going up so that's one two now place one bedrock on top of the gray so that's one now we're going to switch over to the stone block so switch over to the stone block now and starting on top of this one bedrock, you're going to be placing one stone block, so that's one. And now one block going up to the right, that's one. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. And it should be making contact with this black wheel here. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray wool. Let's move down here to the right, to these two black wools. On top of the right one, you're going to be placing two grays going up. So that's one, two. Now switch over to the bedrock on the left side of the top block of these two. So from there, place one bedrock. So that's one. 
Switch back over to the stone block and add two stones going across to the left. So that's one and two. And now place one block going down to the left. So that's one. So it should look like that. Now let's switch back over to the bedrock and we're going to be filling in just this single empty space here, staying within the outline. Fill this in with the bedrock. So let's do that. And it should look like this. Now we're going to be switching over to some other blocks. We're going to be switching over to the light gray wool and the white wool for this next part. Starting off with the white wool, we're going to move all the way over here. Again, moving to this next section up here. All the way to the upper right. So starting from there, place two whites going across to the left. So that's one, two. That's white wool. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool and start underneath the right block of these two whites. With the light gray wool, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. Now let's switch back over to the white. Starting on the left side of the two or of the three light grays with the white wool, you're going to add four blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's a linked two. So that's one, two. Let's switch back over to the light gray and finish filling in the remaining empty space that's here with the light gray wall. So let's fill this in. And it should look like this. Now we're going to move up here to this next area. And this next area requires us to put some blocks away. I didn't want to. I didn't want it to come to this, but we're going to have to put some blocks away to make some room. All right, so we're going to be needing the birch plank for this next part. So switch over to the birch plank. And we're also going to be needing the oak plank. Starting off with the birch plank, let's fly all the way up here to this single empty space. That's kind of skipping this area, but let's go back up here. Uh, fill in this empty space with the birch plank. So just fill that in. Now we're going to switch over to the white wool, and let's fly all the way down here to the bottom left of this empty space. And we're going to move up here to where we have these two blocks that are going to uh, knoll down to the uh, down to the left. And starting underneath this black wool here, just going to be placing one white. So that's one. And then you're just going to be hugging the remaining outline going all the way up to the right with the white wool. Just hug the outline with the white. So it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the oak plank. And let's move back down here to the bottom block, uh, the bottom left side of this empty space here. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. And now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now let's switch over to the birch plank, and we're going to be filling in the remaining four empty spaces that are here with the birch plank. So let's fill it in. And once you're done with that, Everything should look exactly like this so far. So now that we've filled in most of this area here, we're going to continue outlining parts of it. So we'll come back to it with when it comes to filling those areas in. So I'm going to, again, get organized a bit so I don't lose my place and get confused. All right, we're going to switch back over to the black wall. And with the black wool, we're also going to be needing the... Now, let's start back up here, because I don't want to do this yet. Let's go back up here to this area where we filled it in. And we're going to start from this one block here that kind of came from this area. So going down here to the right, starting from that one black wall, you're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the left side. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and now place four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place one black wool on top of the right block of these two here. So place one block there. And now from this one block, you're going to be placing six blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to head back down here, going back down here, all the way back down here, going back to these two black walls that went across. Starting from the left block, we're just going to be connecting these two black walls with those black walls there. So starting from there, the left block of these two, place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. Oops, that's two. So it should look like this, connecting these two. Now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. Switch over to the cyan clay. Let's move over here to this area that we just created, or I should say closed off. Let's move all the way to the top right corner, going to these two black holes up here. Underneath it, you're going to be placing two cyan clays going across. So that's one, two. Now switch over to the placement block and put a placement block underneath the left block of these two. So place one block there. Now switch back over to the black wool starting underneath this placement block. You're going to add two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. And now place two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Now place seven blocks going down on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to be placing, let's see, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Now that we've done that, we're going to fly all the way back up here to where we started with the two blocks going across that we had placed underneath the one placement block that we had there. So starting underneath the right block of these two black holes, so from there, you're going to add seven blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now starting underneath the four blocks, so starting from there, we're going to start underneath it. You're going to add two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, and that's two. So it should look like that. And now from this block here, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And I'll place two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. That's two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And as you can see, the last block should be making contact with the bottom block of these four. So it should look like that. Let's get rid of this. Next, we're going to move all the way up here to the top left corner of this area, kind of where we had this other stuff going on. We're going to switch over to the cyan clay. Let's move to these five black walls that are up here. They also have these two black walls on the left side of the middle area starting point. So going to these five black walls starting on top of it, you're going to be placing one clay. 
one cyan clay, so that's one. And then another block going up to the left. That's one. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. And then we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the cyan clay. So it should look like that. Now let's fly back down here to this area. So going back down to this area, on top of these two black walls, you're going to be placing two cyan clays going across. So that's one, two. And then place one block on top of this one black wall. So place one block there. And then place another block going up to the right. So that's one. Now let's move over here to the right and going to these two black walls. On top of it, you're going to be placing two cyan clays going across. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. So with the light gray wool now, let's move over here. Kind of following this path, just going over here to the right. And we're going to move to these four black wools. Move to these four black wools, starting underneath the four black wools here. Place one light gray wool, so that's one. And then place one block going down to the right. That's one. And then one block going down to the left. So that's one. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. So it should look like this with the light gray wool. And then we're just going to fill in these three empty spaces here with the light gray. Let's just fill that in. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the stone block. And with the stone block, we're going to be filling in this single empty space here that's outlining this larger empty space. We're not going to fill this larger empty space with anything. I'm just talking about the empty space that surrounds it. So this entire thing, this entire thing, as you can see, it does get closed off there, but it doesn't get closed off when it goes this way, going all the way up and then coming all the way back down. So it's just one large space. We're going to fill this in with the stone block. Let's do that now. Fill this in. And this is like one of the buckles that I've seen on Scorpion's shoulder pattern. I don't know what it's called. I don't know, is it, is it like leather armor or something? Not sure. I haven't played the newest Mortal Kombat game, so I wouldn't know. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. Now, we're going to be... Let's see. We're going to... Do, 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 do. Putting away all of these blocks for now. Alright, the blocks that we're going to be needing are the spruce wood, the jungle planks, and the brown wall. Now this is going to be kind of a weird-ish pattern, but this is going to go for all four of Scorpion's straps. Two on each side, and it's going to be a little weird. Alright, so starting from the bottom left corner of this empty space here, so starting there with the spruce wood, you're going to be placing four blocks going up, so that's one, two, three, four. And now seven blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And make sure they're like this. Don't don't try to go like that. Don't place the spruce wood from an angle because then you're going to get this kind of thing. I kind of like it when the pattern goes straight down and is aligned with everything else. It looks like I got some shadow glitch. Let me see if I can get rid of it. No. Nope. No, the shadow glitch. Hold on a second. All right, I got rid of it. I know, I'm pretty sure some people are like, shadow glitch? What was that? What are you talking about, Felix? Don't worry about it. All right, so now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now let's move up here to the top right, and underneath this one black wall, going again up here to the top right, place one spruce wood. Let's place one block there. So it should look like that. Okay. Now we're going to be switching over to... Oh, there is one block I forgot. Whoops. We also need the spruce, uh, spruce plank. So we needed four. Alright, so let's switch over to the spruce plank. Starting underneath this one spruce wood... With the spruce plank, place seven blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Uh, that's not seven. <laughs> that's six. I meant six. Okay, so that was six blocks going down, not seven. So it should look like that. All right, now we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now comes the, it's going to be slightly annoying kind of thing, the pattern. We're going to be needing the jungle planks and the brown wall for this next annoying pattern. You'll see why I say it's annoying in a second. Well, it might not be for you, but it is for me instructing it. All right, we're going to, let's see, do, 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 start from the right block, on top of the right block of these two black walls. And we're going to be placing, by the way, don't get overzealous. Please, please do not get overzealous thinking, oh, I know the pattern, because the pattern does change at some points uh, here and there. So don't be like, oh, I know the pattern, so I don't need you. I'm going to go ahead and do it on my own. Da, da, da. Okay, now tell me what to do. Don't do that. Just do it as I'm doing it, because the pattern does change uh, angles at times. All right, so place one jungle plank. Now place one brown wall. And of course, this is all, all going to go up until I say move to the left, move to the right. Now we're going to go diagonal with it. So pay close attention. So that's, we already had the one jungle plank, the one brown wall. One jungle plank, one brown wall, one jungle plank. And then uh, kind of moving alongside because this is always going to be hugging the outline. So now we're going to move up here, going to the left. We're going to be placing one jungle plank. So place one jungle plank there. And then one brown wall. One jungle plank, one brown wall, one jungle plank, and one br No. <laughs> I already messed up. <laughs> no, I'm not editing that out. <laughs> I <laughs> So going back over here, <laughs> it's instead of the, the jungle plank, placing one brown wall, I completely forgot my own pattern. Alright, so again, the pattern is just brown and jungle plank. Alright, now we place one jungle plank, one brown wall, one jungle plank, one brown wall, one jungle plank. So I'll fly back. I know that was, that was probably confusing for the younger viewers, but go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. That was just sloppy instructions, just because I've never had to instruct anything like this, this type of pattern. But Felix, it's just a pattern going up. Well, it's, this is the more simpler version, because we still have a long, large area to do, and just fill this in with this type of pattern. And it keeps moving back and forth, which is going to be annoying. All right, so let's go back down here to the left. This is again, this is the easiest part for the, the pattern. Uh, we're gonna start off with the jungle plank. So jungle plank, brown wool, 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 jungle plank. So I'll fly back a bit, and you can pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. If anything, if you guys have understood the con, uh, this should be easy, a lot easier to explain if I if I say it this way. If you guys have completely understood the concept of hugging the outline, because this is hugging the outline right here. This was hugging the outline, and I believe this here also with the jungle planks, we also hug the outline. If you understand the concept of hugging the outline, this is exactly what it is. It's hugging the outline with a pattern. That's what I should say to save myself some time when it comes to the other larger straps of scorpion. So next time, I'm just going to say hug the outline with the pattern. And I'll give you a set pattern because the pattern is going to change later on. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the brown wall and fill in this remaining empty space here with the brown wall. So let's do that now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fill it in with the brown wall. Felix, how come you didn't say put a placement block? It was going to be that. It's because I didn't want to say it. Okay. So it should look like this. Now, let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess we could continue outlining some more stuff. So, I don't know. I'm already here, so I might as well. All right. The only reason why I'm saying that is because I still have to split this up to something else. Let's switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wall, no, let's switch over to the gray wall as well, because we might as well switch to that block there. Switching over to the gray wall, to this next small area, on top of the left block of these two black walls, place one gray wall. Let's place one gray wall there. Now switch over to the black wall, starting on top of the gray wall, place two black walls going across to the right. So that's one, two. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. It's one, two, three. 
I place one block going up to the right. So that's one. Now let's switch back over to the gray wool. And underneath these uh, three black walls, we're going to be placing three gray walls going across underneath it. So that's one, two, three. And then place one gray wool underneath this one black wool. So that's one. Now let's quickly switch over to the bedrock. And we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the bedrock. So fill this one space and this single space here with the bedrock. Now that we've done that, we're going to switch over to the spruce wood and go up to this next area. Starting on top of these two black walls, place two spruce wood going across. So that's one, two. Now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now let's switch over to the spruce planks. Now with the spruce planks, let's move up here. Underneath these four black walls, place four spruce planks going across. So that's one, two, three, four. And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now let's switch over to the brown wool, and with the brown wool, we're going to fill in this empty space here with the brown wool. Let's do that. So, it should look like that. Now we'll continue outlining the rest of this area, but first I want to go down here and finish this area. So, let's put away, for now, this these type of blocks give me a second just a second there we go all right so just to get organized we're going to be needing the block of coal the black wool and the gray wool for this next area so switch to those blocks now we're going to switch over to the bedrock and not the bedrock the block of coal the block of coal going down here to where i believe this is the last thing that i had you placed uh at the end of part one but going to these 10 black walls that are here that went down to the right, starting underneath them, you're going to be placing three block of coals going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Alright guys, something just happened. I lost about 50 minutes of footage. The video recorder, for whatever reason, it got cut off. The capture card, it just... I don't know what happened. After I was done recording for about an hour, an hour and 50 minutes, I went back and it said that it only recorded about 57 minutes, which means the other 50 about so minutes got cut off. I don't know why, but I had to go back and break all of my work that I just finished placing here. So that's really annoying. So I'm going to have to re-record all of this again. But that's fine, and what I want you to do, I'm pretty sure I got rid of all the blocks that weren't needed, because, I, again, I had to go back and break every single block, because I'm going to re-show you, technically it's not re-showing you, it's just me redoing this because the capture card failed. So I hope I got rid of all the blocks that were needed. So going back over here to these two blocks going across, because this is where the video cut off, and I lost about 50 minutes, but we're going to go ahead and truck on. So starting from that block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left side. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now, two blocks going up on the right. One, two. And now place four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. 
and it should be making contact with these three blocks going across. Alright, so now we're going to switch over to the brown clay. Not the brown wool, but the brown clay. And by the way, I'm re-recording this the next day because I found out a couple hours after I was done recording that I lost about almost an hour's worth of footage after this part here. And let's just say Felix was definitely not in a good mood. He was like Hulk mode. And I did not feel like re-recording because I was sure to explain it. And I, this is this is my mentality. I was going to say, guys, I beeping lost the beeping footage because of this beeping. Be I was just going to say all of that. But I thought to myself, nah, it's not worth it. Just cool off for a day because I was angry the entire day. I didn't re-record anything. I didn't do. I was just, oh. Uh, all right. So it's a good thing I took a day off. I was like, I'm just going to take a day off and re-record all of this the next day. Because I don't want to go off on a tangent where I just throw a bunch of curse words for no reason. Anyway, switching over to the brown stained clay. Going to these two block of coals going down here. Starting underneath it with the brown clay, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Oops, that's three. Now we're going to move one block over to the right, starting underneath these two block of coals. You're going to be placing four brown clays going down. So that's one, two, three, four. And I place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. And it should be making contact with the ground. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce planks, and we're going to fill in this empty space here with the spruce planks. So let's do that now. And it should look like this. Now we're going to put a, not put away any blocks just yet, but we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now, with the black wool, let's head to these four block of coals going across. Underneath the left block, you're going to be placing one black wool, so that's one. And now two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the brown clay and fill in this empty space here with the brown clay. So let's do that now. Next, we're going to be switching over to the black stained clay. So switch to the black stained clay. Going back up here to this one black wool on the right side of it, you're going to be placing one black stained clay, so that's one. Then two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch back over to the brown stained clay. And we're going to move underneath the right block of these four block of coals. You're going to be placing one brown stained clay. And then place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So three diagonal. That's one, two, and three. And it should look like this. Now moving over here on the right side of the four block of coals, you're going to be placing one clay. So that's one brown clay on the right. And then another block going up to the right. So that's one. So it should look like this. Now we're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with the clay, the brown clay. So we get this. So now we're going to be putting away these blocks to get a little organized. And we're going to be switching to the gray wool for this next part and we're also going to be needing the black wool so with the gray wool moving up here to this area that we outlined with the block of coal starting from the top block on the right or starting from the top uh, right corner underneath this block of coal with the gray wool place four blocks going down that's one two three four and now two blocks going down on the left that's one two and now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now let's go back up here. Starting underneath the left block of these two block of coals, you're going to be placing one gray wool. So that's one. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool and fill in this empty space here 
with the black wool. Let's fill this in. And it should look like this. Now we're going to be putting away the black wool and the gray. We're going to be switching over to the spruce wood, the brown wool, the jungle planks, and the spruce planks. So switch to those four blocks. What we're going to be doing is the exact same thing that we did up there, or similar to what we just did up there, just creating the patterns. Starting off with the spruce wood, we're going to move down here towards the center, and in between these two block of coals, on top of this block of coal, you're going to be placing one spruce wood. So we'll place one block there. Now, starting on top of this spruce wood here, what we're going to be doing is hugging the outline of the black wool, and we're going to be going all the way up and stopping underneath this black wool there. So stop underneath that black wool, just hugging the outline with the spruce wood so it looks like this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Felix. Okay, there we go. And... Boom, it should stop right there, and it should look like this. Now we're going to move up here to these two black walls. Underneath the right block, you're going to be placing one spruce wood, so that's one. And now place two set, or not two, uh, yeah, two sets. It's Now place two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce planks, starting underneath this black wool here. You're going to be hugging the outline of the black wool, going down all the way to the right with the spruce planks and stopping on top of the right block of these two block of coals. So let's hug the outline with the spruce plank. And it should look like this when you're done. Next, we're going to be switching over to the jungle planks and the jungle uh, the jungle planks and the brown wool. And what we're going to do is the same thing we did up there. We're going to be hugging the outline with the pattern of the jungle plank and the brown wool. So we're going to be doing this, just hug starting from the bottom left corner here with the jungle plank. We're going to start off with the jungle plank, and we're going to hug the outline with the pattern of jungle plank and brown wool, going up to the left. So it should look like this. Oops. Going back and forth between the two. It's going to take some time, but there we go. And it should end with the jungle plank here making contact with the black wool there. So it should look like this. Just hugging the outline, making sure it looks exactly like this. Because now we're going to go down here to the right, and starting on top of this block of coal with the jungle plank, we're going to be hugging the outline going all the way up to the left with the same pattern. So jungle, brown, jungle, brown. Go ahead and do that. With that pattern. And making sure you place the correct blocks on the spaces where they need to go. Oops. Especially when we're transitioning into the other set of blocks. Ugh, I keep messing this up. It's annoying. Ugh, I think it's more annoying to me the fact that I'm just doing this all over again. Because I've lost all of that footage. Alright, so when you're done, it should look like this with the jungle plank making contact with the spruce wood up there. So next, what we're going to be doing is switching over to the brown wall again. And we're going to be filling in the remaining empty space that's here with the brown wall. So let's do that now. Just Filling in the remaining empty space. I'm just going to fill it going up and down. I don't usually like doing this in time-lapse videos. When it comes to me just making a pixel art all over again. Uh, and just the filling in part. I like going side to side. Almost like it's printing the pixel art. Instead of going up and down like this. Because then it kind of loses its magic when it comes to a time-lapse video. At least that's how I see it. Alright, so you should be getting close to filling all of this in with the brown wall. 
and when you're done filling it in with the brown wool, it should look like this. You can see that this is just the extension of Scorpion's shoulder buckle little strap thing that he has going on, his shoulder armor. Alright, so now we're going to move up here to this next area. Going back up here, we're going to put away these blocks so we don't get confused. Even though I'm going to be using that black wool again, I just need to put them away in order. There we go. Alright, we're going to switch back over to the black wool and we're going to start doing some outlining again. So going back up here, going to these four black wools going across, starting from the right block of these four black wools on top of it, you're going to add five black wools going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block on the right side of the top block of these two. So, or not the right, the left. The left side. So place one block there. That's, one, again, one block on the left. And now starting from this block again, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And then place four sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, one, two, three, three, and one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of these. Now starting from the top block, or not the top block, but on top of the middle block of these three black wools, so starting from there, we're going to be placing four black wools going up. So that's one, two, three, four. Now let's go back down. Starting from the right block of these three black wools again, underneath it, you're going to be adding two blocks going down, so that's one, two. And now place six blocks going down on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to go back up here, going back to these two that went underneath these three black walls. So going from the bottom block of these two, so from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now going back to this one block here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. I place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. And now one block going up to the right. Or no, not one block, no. Two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And I'll place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now, starting from the right block of these four black wools, uh, starting from there, we're going to move one block over to the left, so we're going to start on top of this black wool here, and we're going to be placing three blocks going up. So that's one, two, three. And now place five blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And it should be making contact with these three black wools here. So let's get rid of that. And let's go back down to these four black wools. Starting underneath the left block of, or not the left, but the right block of the four black wools. So starting from there, underneath it, you're going to add three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now starting from the bottom block on the right side of these three. So starting from that block, you're going to add two blocks going up. So that's one, two. 
And now starting from the bottom block of these two that we just placed, so from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to move back up here, going back to where we had these three blocks going down, starting underneath the right block of these four black walls. So starting from this block here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now let's get rid of these. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 2. Now place one block going down to the left. That's 1. Now place two sets of 2s going across on the lower level to the left. That's 1, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 2. Now we're going to move back up here to these six black walls that we had going down on the left from those two black walls. Starting from the bottom block of these six black walls, so from that block there, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now starting on top of the right block of these three black walls, so starting from that block there on top of it, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the, uh, up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. As you can see, it should be making contact with these two black walls going across. Now let's go back over here. This is going to be a little tricky, so I'm going to be going kind of slow on this part. Not too slow, but going to kind of, you know, kind of slow so no one gets confused here. Starting from the right block again of these three black walls going across. So from that block, you're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. And now place two sets of twos going down on the right. It's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the, or down to the right, down. So that's one, and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now, two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place three blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So two diagonal, that's one and two. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. 
That's one, two. So that was a cross. And now, starting on top of the right block of these two black walls, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those so it should look like this. So going back over here to the two black walls that went across, starting from the right block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now starting on top of the right block of these two black walls going across, so starting from there, you're going to be adding nine blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine black walls going up. So let's go back down here. And we're going to go back over here to these two that went diagonal down to the right, starting from the top block, the first block of the two. So starting from this one block here, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. So it should look like that. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of this black wall. Let's so place one block there. Now switch over to the jungle planks and with the jungle plank underneath the placement block, you're going to add four blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch back over to the black wall. And going back over here to the two black walls that were going down, we're going to move one block over to the right. So moving over here, starting underneath this jungle plank, so starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And now for the moment of truth, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And it should be making contact with the ground. If it is, you're doing everything correctly so far. And for whatever reason, if it isn't, try going back at the video and seeing where you may have gone wrong. Or at least try using the second screen, which is on the right to see if you can detect any mistakes. All right, so we're going to move back up here, back to where we started, going back to these three black walls here. Again, this is where it's all started going down there. So going back to these three black walls, we're going to move over to the left, and we're going to go back to these four black walls going across here. Starting underneath the right block of these four black walls, so starting from that block there, we're going to move one block over to the left, so moving one block over to the left, so starting underneath this black wall, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left, so starting from there, that's one, two, and three. Now place five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. uh, it's just heartbreaking to see everything that I filled in here just to be deleted, having to be deleted. Uh, just to re-record it. I'm re-recording it now, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, no fun, no fun. 
So starting from this block now, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Switch over to the placement block, put a placement block on top of the left block of the two black walls, place one block there. Switch back over to the black wall, starting on top of the placement block, place three blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. Now we're going to start on top of these three blocks here, so starting on top of the left block of these three, so starting from there. You're going to add five blocks going up, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And now place six blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now place two blocks going across, or not just two, uh, place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Starting underneath the right block of these two black walls, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing six blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should look like this. Now we're going to be placing six blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So that was two sets of threes. Now we're going to move back down here, back to these two black walls going across, starting from the left block of it, so from that block. You're going to be placing six blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now from this general area here where we just placed the six, we're going to move uh, to the left a bit, and you should come across this backwards L shape here. Starting from the, I guess, right here, the corner of the backwards L shape. So from these two black walls on the right side, so starting from this block here, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. Now let's go back down here to the bottom block of these six black walls that went down to the left. So starting from this block here, you're going to be placing seven blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now place four blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now place six blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place eight blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna switch over to the block of coal for this next part. So switching over to the block of coal. Starting underneath the eight black walls, so starting from there, you're going to be placing two block of coals going across to the right. So that's one and two. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. Now place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. 
That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now five blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now let's place three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, and two, and three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. I place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of those. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And we're going to do the same thing we did over there. Starting at the top right corner of this empty space that we just created, so starting underneath this block of coal, you're going to be placing five grays going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now place three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. Now let's move back up here to the right. Underneath this block of coal, place one gray wool. So that's one. Now switch over to the black wool and fill in the remaining empty space here with the black wool. Let's do that now. And I think I'm going to finish this strap on Scorpion's armor next. Because I, I saved this for the last part. This is the last thing I filled in. Just before, uh, or I should say after, I don't know, just before or after, whatever. It's still lost footage that I can't get back. Alright, switching back over to the black wool. Going back over here to the block of coal with the black wool, not the block of coal, but starting on top of the block of coal with the black wool. It's confusing. On top of it, you're going to add 12 black wools going up. So that's 1, 2, whoops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now you're going to be placing two sets of seven. So two groups of seven. Two sets of seven going up on the left. So, oops, let me switch this around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's two. Let's get rid of these. Let's go back up here. Now you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four. And while we're here, we're going to do the whole filling in stuff. Like I mentioned before, this is the last thing I did before I ended the video. I then only found out the half was gone. I'm never going to stop complaining. Never. Never, 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 never. You can't make me stop complaining about what I lost. All right, so we're going to switch over to the spruce wood. And we're also going to be switching over to the brown wool, the jungle planks, and the spruce planks for this. So I have these four blocks. We're going to start off with the spruce wood, and like we did over there, finding this empty space in between these two blocks of coals, place one spruce wood there, like that. Then moving over here to the left, starting on top of this spruce wood, we're going to hug the outline of the black wool until we reach the left side of these two black wools going across. So just hug the outline going up to the left. And it should stop right there. Now we're going to be placing one spruce wood underneath the right block of these two black wolves. Underneath this block, place one spruce wood. And then place two set, or no, just place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. 
Now we're going to switch over to the uh, the spruce planks. So switching to the spruce planks, going over here, starting underneath this black wool. With the spruce planks, you're going to hug the outline going all the way down, making contact with the block of coal. So let's hug the outline with the spruce planks now. And it should stop on top of this block of coal. Now what we're going to be doing next is switching back over to the jungle plank. And with the jungle plank starting at the bottom left corner, we're going to start off with the jungle plank. And we're going to hug the outline of the spruce wood with the jungle plank. So let's just hug the outline with the jungle plank and the, the brown wool, of course. This is hugging the outline with the pattern. Making sure you do exactly what I'm doing. Shouldn't be hard at all to follow. I mean, not with the speed. I just mean understanding what I just told you to do. So all we did was just hug the outline like this, stopping underneath that spruce wood with the jungle plank and the brown wall. So it looks like this. Now let's move over here to the bottom right corner of this area. And starting with the jungle planks, we're going to hug the outline with the jungle plank and the brown wool pattern. So jungle, brown, jungle. Just hug the outline going up to the left. Ugh. I keep putting, I keep accidentally putting a spruce wood instead of, or a spruce planks instead of, this jungle, ugh. Alright. There we go. And when you're done hugging the outline, it should look exactly like this. With the jungle plank making contact with the black wool up there. So now we're going to switch over to the brown wool, and we're going to fill in the remaining empty space with the brown wool. So go ahead and do that now. Let's fill this in with the brown. And there is still a lot more to be done. No. Alright. It's whatever. Da, 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 da. It's almost like the... I'm pretty sure none of you have done my Super Saiyan Gohan uh, pixel art tutorial. It's almost like that. Because I lost like about an hour's worth of footage and had to re-record the entire thing. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. Okay. Now we're going to be... Da, 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 oh, still have to do all of this. Alright. So let's put away all the blocks just to get organized. What the hell's going on? With, oh, there we go. I'm clicking on the D-pad, nothing's working. Alright, we're gonna be putting away all of these blocks, just so I can get organized. It's just for my benefit, if anything. And we're gonna fill them in one by one, so let's go over here to this area. Ah, oh, don't tell me I didn't forget. Ah, oh, so annoying. Alright, let's switch over to the black wool. This is annoying. The black wool, the gray wool, the bedrock, and... Might as well switch to the cyan clay and the stone block. And we're gonna need the white wool next, and we're gonna need these... Or, the light gray wool and the white wool. So, all the gray colors going all the way to the white wall, so, except the coal. Screw the coal. Screw you, coal. Alright. So, going with the gray wall first, going to this area, that's, we're gonna turn it into something else, starting at the... Let me just double check. Okay. So, uh, yeah, okay. Going over here to this black wall of this empty space, underneath it, you're going to be placing two grays going down, so that's one, two. And now, oh, look, so, oh, we don't need the black one. All right, never mind, forget me. <laughs> Just put that away. There we go. And now i got to reorganize that. I was looking at it wrong. Okay, whatever. Then, let's switch back over to the gray wool. Let's move over here to the other side. Starting underneath these two black wools, you're going to be placing two grays going down. So that's one, two. And now let's go back up here to this one black wool and place one gray wool underneath it. So that's one. Now we're going to move back over here to these two gray walls. We're going to switch over to the bedrock on the bottom block of these two. On the right side, you're going to be placing one bedrock, so that's one. Switch over to the stone block and place one stone block on the right side of it, so that's one stone. Now switch over to the bedrock, place one bedrock on the right side of the stone. Then switch back over to the stone block and place one stone block on top of the bedrock. Boom! Felix, stop going so fast. I hate you. I hate you, Felix. Okay. And it should look like this when you're done. Now we're going to move back up here, going back to this one black wall. Starting on top of it, you're going to be placing two stone blocks going up. That's one, two. Let's go back up. By the way, I was making fun of all the people that say I go too fast. Uh, right there. All right. 
feel what you do. Alright, going back to that block there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. That's that's still some of the saltiness. Felix is still a little salty from yesterday. Uh, that means a little mad. So, uh, now that we have these two blocks going across, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're gonna switch it up. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's the switching up theme. Go ahead, buy it on iTunes. Uh, going over here, starting on top of... Well, I guess it's just starting on top of this. Starting on top of this one stone block, you're going to be placing two light grays going across to the right. So that's one, two. And now, on top of these two stone blocks, all we're going to do is just hug the outline going all the way down and filling in this single empty space there with the light gray wall. So let's just hug the outline of the stone block on top of this. Going down there, so it should look exactly like this. Felix, that was too fast. Then go ahead and pause the video now, just to compare. Because now, we're going to speed it up. Not really. We're going to switch over to the white wall, and we're going to be filling in the upper empty spaces that are above the light gray wall. We're going to be filling in these single empty spaces with the white wall. So, fill that up, so it should look like that. Now let's switch over to the bedrock, and we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces that are here, along with this single space that's here, with the bedrock. So let's do that now. Fill this up with the bedrock. And it should look like that. Next, we're gonna fly. Da -da. Yeah, wait. Let's let's finish most of this part first. We're gonna fly up here, and we're gonna switch it up. Switching up, switching up. We're gonna switch over to the birch plank. On top of these four black wools that went up on top of the middle block of these three. So going up here, on top of it, place one birch plank. So that's one. And now one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing th four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's four sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and that's four. That's four sets of twos. Let's get rid of these. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Whoops. So that's one. So it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the white wool, and we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that are above the birch plank with the white wool. So let's fill those in. Next, we're also going to be switching over to the jungle planks, and with the jungle planks, moving over here to this one birch plank. Underneath it, you're going to be placing three jungle planks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now let's put away the jungle planks, and let's switch over to the oak planks. Switching to the oak planks, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's here with the oak planks. So do that now. Go ahead and fill this empty space. So it should look like that. Alright, next, da, 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 let's fill in this empty spot. Alright, so this next area, we're going to be switching. I'm not even sure if I filled in this empty space here uh, at the last footage that got lost. But you know what? We're going to be doing all of this here. Extra stuff for my suffering. Uh, let's put away some of these blocks so we don't get confused. In fact, I'm not even sure which blocks I need for this next part. Uh, I believe it's going to be... Look, give me a second to get organized. This is a large pixel art. Okay. We're going to switch over to the white wall, going over here to the right side of this birch plank. So starting from there with the white wool, we're going to be hugging the outline of the black wool, stopping right there, up there, the right corner. So hug the outline with the white wool, starting next to that birch plank, of course. With the white wool, so it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray and place one light gray underneath the right block of these two whites. So place one light gray wool there. 
Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, starting underneath the light gray wool. So from there, you're going to be placing one stone block. So that's one. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. So on the right, three. That's one, two, three. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look like this so far. Now we're going to switch over to the bedrock, going back up here to the three stone blocks that we just had going down on the right. Starting from the top block on the right side of it, you're going to add two bedrocks going across. So that's one, two. Now switch over to the stone block, place one stone block on the right. So that's one stone. And then we're going to be placing one stone block going up on the right. So that's one. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, or the bedrock, I should say. So switching over to the bedrock, starting on top of the right block of these two stone blocks, starting from there. You're going to be placing three bedrocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now switch over to the stone block, place one stone block on top of the right block of these three bedrocks, and place one block there. And then place one block going up to the right. So that's one. And it should look like this. So now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool, and let's move up here. We're going to be filling in this single space that's up here in between the white wool and the stone block. We're going to be filling this area here with the light gray wool. So let's fill this in with light gray wool. I feel like I'm losing my voice. No! Okay, I'm not really. I'm just raspy at the moment. It gets like that. Alright, so when you're done filling it in, it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to this, uh, the bedrock, and we're going to be filling in this single empty space that's here. Don't get it confused because it's not cut off. This is just one space. We're going to be filling this in with the bedrock, so just staying within the outline. Don't dare cross it. You'll be breaking pixel art law. All right. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Even though I didn't fly back yet. Da, 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 rebel. All right. When you're done filling in, it should look like this. Okay. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Let's move down here to this empty space that's rebel. It's all like L-ish, like, like, like. It's an L shape, like. All right. Starting underneath this black wool, you're going to be placing three grays. That's one, two, three. Then we're going to switch over to the cyan clay. And fill in this empty space here with the cyan clay. No, not the cyan clay. What am I saying? Bedrock! Fill it in with the bedrock. Urgh, confusion. All right, boom. Place one bedrock there so it looks like this. All right, now we are going to... We're going to... Let's put away all these blocks so Felix doesn't get confused. I am I know it's gonna sound stupid and crazy, but I actually do get confused when it comes to these larger pixel arts because then I have to organize everything. So at least I can feel like I'm organized. Switch over to the spruce planks, switch over to the spruce wood and the brown wool. So switch to these three blocks. We're going to work on this empty space here, which I know for a fact I didn't work on. Uh I don't know, I left some areas open. So you're getting bonus content. Boom! Me suffering, losing content, means you get more content. It's crazy how the world works. All right, going up here to the top right corner, starting underneath this black wool, so starting from there, with the spruce plank, you're going to hug the outline going all the way down and stopping next to this black wool there. So just hug the outline, starting underneath this one black wool with the spruce plank. Let's hug the outline 
So it looks like this. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce wood, and let's go all the way down here. Starting on top of these two black wolves, we're going to hug the outline of the black wool going all the way up and stopping up here underneath that black wool. So let's go back down and hug the outline with the spruce whoops with the spruce wood. So it should look like this. And then we're going to be placing one spruce wood underneath this black wool. So place one spruce wood there. Now let's switch over to the brown wool and fill in the remaining empty space that's here with the brown wool. So let's do that now. Fill in this in. And it should look like this. I really hope it doesn't get deleted. Boom! I'm jinxing myself. It's going to get deleted. All of it. Then it's going to have to redo it. All right. So when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. And by the way, deleting, I mean, the, like, the footage and whatnot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Let's put away all... No, wait. No, I needed you. No, wait. No, I didn't. Not yet. Uh, The next blocks we're going to be needing is the gray wool, the bedrock, and the stone block. And let's fill in this empty space. What we're going to be doing first is with a gray wool starting up here at the top right corner, starting underneath the right block of these two black wools, starting from there, place one gray wool, so that's one. Then two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And then one block going down to the left. That's one. Now fill in these two empty spaces up here with the Gray wool to fill that and that. Now let's switch over to the bedrock. Let's move to these two four or not four, but these four black wools going across. Starting on top of the right block of these four, place one bedrock, so that's one. Switch over to the stone block, place one stone block on the left side of the bedrock, and place one stone block on top of the bedrock. So it looks like this. Now let's switch back over to the bedrock and fill in these two empty spaces here with the bedrock. So let's do that now. And there we go. We finished filling in that area. Now we're going to be working on the final part. Woo! Finally made it to this part. Honestly, I I didn't I don't remember doing this part, so you definitely got bonus content. Yes. Yes, awesome. All right. So now we are going to switch the brown, okay, the brown stuff. The spruce wood, the brown wool, the, the jungle planks, and the spruce planks. Switch to, oh shoot, no we don't. Oh dang it. Alright, whatever. I forgot that we have to do the buckle as well. The surrounding area. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Alright, switching to the spruce wood. Starting at the bottom left corner of this empty space. We're going to work on the outer space of this buckle thing later. This is going to be the final part. But inner space, this large space, the bottom left corner from there. We're going to hug the outline going up to the left. So hug the outline with the spruce wood. And it should look like that. Now we're going to move up here to these two black wolves going across. And we're going to be placing two blocks going across underneath it. So that's one, two. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one and two. Now we're going to move up here, and starting underneath this one black wool, so starting from there, we're going to be placing six blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the spruce planks, and with the planks underneath the two spruce wood, you're going to be placing four blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. Now let's switch over to the jungle planks. Let's start down here at the bottom left corner of this empty space, so on top of this black wool. Hug the outline with the jungle plank and the brown wool pattern. So let's hug the... whoops. Oh, I grabbed the clay instead. Stupid me. Where's my brown wool? There it is. It should not be there. Okay, there we go. Brown wool, jungle, brown wool, jungle, brown wool, jungle. You get the pattern. There we go. And it should end with ma it making contact with the jungle plank with this black wool. Now let's go back to the right, the bottom right corner, and starting off with the jungle plank. We're going to hug the outline going up to the left now. Tr 
trying to get this done, and there we go. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the brown wall and fill in the empty space that's here with the brown wall. So let's do that now. Filling this in with the brown wool. Alright, there we go. Now we get to put away all of these blocks. So let's put away all of these blocks. And we're going to be switching to the final colors, which is what I like to call the blocks. The cyan clay, the stone, and the light gray wool. So these are the last blocks we're going to be using in this uh, part two. Starting off with the cyan clay, let's go all the way up here to the top right corner. And underneath these two black wools, you're going to be placing two cyan clays going across. So that's one, two. Now we're going to move over here to the left, to the top left corner of this area, of this buckle area. And we're going to find this one black wool here. On the right side of it, you're going to be placing one cyan clay. So that's one. And underneath the one black wool, place one cyan clay underneath it. So that's one. So it should look like this. Now we're going to move down here to the bottom left corner and moving over here, starting on top of this one black wool that's making contact with the six uh, black wools, or I should say starting on top of the six black wools, not just yet. On top of the six black wools, you're going to be placing one cyan clay, so place one block there. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left, so that's one, two. And now one block going up to the left, that's one. Now we're going to be filling in these two small spaces here with the cyan clays. So fill that and that so it should look like this. Now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. So switch over to the light gray wool and we're going to move to this area over here to the bottom right corner of the space here. And we're going to find these five black wools that are going down. So starting underneath these five black wools, so starting from there... You're going to be placing one, one light gray wool, so that's one. And then place one block going down to the right, that's one. And then place two blocks going diagonal up, uh, down to the left, switching sides, going down to the left, two diagonal, that's one, and two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the light gray wool, so fill those in. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the stone block, and with the stone block, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces, or space, I should say, with the stone block, which is just circling this, this buckle here, it's the metal part of the buckle. I wouldn't know because I don't play uh, Mortal Kombat X, the latest one. I haven't played the latest one. I don't think I will. I played the old arcade versions. I'm old school. So, boom, we're getting closer and closer to actually finishing this incredible detail, and the most detail in this pixel art is in Scorpion's face. It looks super realistic. I cannot wait until you guys have this incredible pixel art finished in your Minecraft world. And we will continue this pixel art because I'm going to pause here and continue in Part 3. So make sure to stay tuned and be on the lookout for Part 3 and for more Minecraft videos.